I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my channel on trigonometric functions. Let me thank all the subscribers and viewers for watching my videos and posting excellent questions. Now this video, I have taken a few questions from my subscribers. So in a way, I am going to answer their questions and I thought we will develop a new series. So this is part of my series on trigonometry which is useful for students who want to do calculus. So I'm saying trigonometry pre-calculus. We are going to discuss trigonometric equations and we'll take a few examples relating to trigonometric equations uh, in this particular video. So we'll solve equations basically. Solving equations means to find the value of independent variable. These are the questions which we are going to look into. They are all multiple choice questions. Question number one. Find the number of x-intercepts, the number of x-intercepts of the following function. The function is y equals to 1 over 3 sine 2x in the interval 0 to 2 pi. Question number two. Find the number of x-intercepts of the function y equals to 3 sine 2x plus pi by 2 and now I have changed the interval to minus pi by 4 to 3 pi by 4. Now that's very interesting. We have transformed the function and also changed the interval. Question number 3 is find the number of solutions of the equation sine 2x plus 2 square root 3 sine cos x minus sine x equals to square root 3 in the interval 0 to 2 pi. Then question number 4 here is find the number of solutions of the equation 2 cos cube x equals to cos x in the interval 0 to 2 pi. So to find the number of solutions, you have to actually find the solution itself, right? That's very important. So let's take up these questions one by one and understand the strategy. So let's begin with the very first question, which is find number of x-intercepts of the function y equals to 1 over 3 sine 2x in the interval 0 to 2 pi. Now, in a test where you are given multiple choice questions, you could solve this in different ways. One of the ways is graph. That is probably the fastest without any calculations, right? So, we have to find y equals to 1 over 3 sine 2x. That means sine 2x function will be kind of like this. So, within this domain of 0 to 2 pi, we have two cycles, right? Since 2x, so that 2 means 2 cycles in 2 pi. Now, when we say find the number of x intercepts, that means we are interested in finding these points. You can just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, option C is the best option. So, that is the fastest solution you can provide to this question. Do you see that? It's very helpful for any competitive exam. The whole idea to take up these questions is to teach you the best ways. Now here is another way to find it. That is to say, let us say if we have sine theta equals to 0, those are the x-intercepts. In that case, theta is equal to what? Theta is equal to n pi, correct? So what we can say is looking into the equation, 2x is equal to n pi or x is equal to n pi by 2. Now the interval is given to us as 0 to 2 pi. That means x has to be between 0 to 2 pi, right? So that means that n pi by 2 should be between 0 to equal to also 0 to 2 pi. Do you see that? Now that really means what we should do is we should multiply by 2 divide by n or divide by pi so we get n as between 0 to if I multiply by 2 I get 4 
pi and divided by pi I get 4 do you see that so that means n is greater than or equal to 0 or less than or equal to 4 how did we get this answer we multiplied every term by 2 over n right so we multiplied everything by 2 over n I mean sorry 2 over pi we want n right so we multiplied everything by 2 over pi so once you do that pi pi cancels you get 4 here 0 times anything is 0 and here you're left with n does make sense so between 0 to 4 both included the values are 0 1 2 3 and 4 1 2 3 4 5 is the number of solutions correct so you get your answer as 5 does it make sense to you so that is a logical method of doing it it takes time however very important to understand if you are given a communication thinking application question that is how you should be doing if it is a multiple choice question in your test or exam or competitive exam this is how you should do it i hope that's clear right let's take up question number two now question number two i'll use second method find the number of x-intercepts of this particular function this time we have 3 sine 2x plus pi by 2 in this interval okay so this is a phase shift let's say we know that sine theta is sine theta is 0 that means theta is equals to n pi that means we have 2x plus pi by 2 equals to n pi we want to find what x is let us isolate this so we have 2x is n pi minus pi by 2 right so x is half of this so it is half of solve this so we can take 2 as a common denominator so we have 2 n pi minus pi right so so that is what we have now this x value should be within this interval got it within this interval exactly right now what we can do here is we can write all this which is uh, let's say 2n if i take pi common i can write 2n minus 1 times pi right over 4 that is the x value it has to be greater than equal to the left limit which is minus pi by 4 and it should be less than equal to 3 pi by 4 does make sense to you now clearly you could multiply everything by 4 so that gets cancelled and even this pi gets cancelled correct so what do you get so you get here 2n minus 1 is less than equal to 3 and is greater than equal to minus 1 so we can now add 1 and divide by 2 right so if you add 1 right so let me show you all these calculations on this side so we have here minus 1 less than equals to I mean 2n minus 1 less than equal to 3 right if I add 1 I get 0 is less than equals to 2n is less than equal to 4 now I'll divide by 2 so if I divide by 2 I get n will be less than equals to 2 so the values are 0 1 and 2 is it okay so there are three possible solutions three possible solutions do you understand how we got it so take another look at it right and try to understand the method sine theta is 0 for theta equals to n pi now here theta is all this all this is theta for us so we are saying all this 2x plus pi by 2 is equals to n pi can you correlate isolate x simple as that and x is between that limit there's a double inequality to be solved so that is the solution of double inequality you get three possible values of n perfect and that's how you solve it so so i hope the steps are absolutely clear Question number three find the number of solutions of the equation sine 2x plus 2 square root 3 cos x 
minus sin x equals to square root 3 in the interval 0 to 2 pi. Now solving equation also means the value which will make both left side equals to right side correct. Now sin 2x could be written as 2 sin x cos x so we'll write 2 sin x cos x for sin 2x that's the formula and we'll write all of the terms as such which is 2 square root 3x cos x minus sin x minus square root 3 equals to 0. Now we could take something common here to get the equation uh, factored correct cos x times 2 is common so let's take 2 cos x common from the first two terms that give us sin x plus square root 3 now in this equation we could just take minus common that gives us sin x plus square root 3 equals to 0 now sin x plus square root 3 is common factor so factoring is a skill which you should know to solve trigonometric equations. Now clearly it has two solutions. One is that sin x plus square root 3 equals to 0 which is no solution right not possible. And the other is that 2 cos x minus 1 equals to 0. So that means cos x equals to take 1 to this side divide by 2. Right? Now in the interval 0 to 2 pi cos is positive in quadrant 1 and 4. Right? So it is positive in quadrant 1 and 4. So we have two solutions. Right? So two solutions is correct. Now at times if you have to find solution you can definitely find solution also which is not a part of this question just make your special triangle and you remember that angle is what gives you the solution which is pi by 3 right so so one of these angle is positive pi by 3 so you could get x equals to pi by 3 and the other one is this is 6 pi by 3 one less right one less is 5 pi by 3 is it okay so that give, becomes your two different solutions for the given equation since we just want to find number of solutions the number is 2 there are these two solutions which are possible for the given equation so I hope that step is absolutely clear so let's move on and take a few more equations We'll take up more examples on solving trigonometric equations later, but here is the last question to be solved in this video. Question number four. Find the number of solutions of the equation 2 cos cube x equals to cos x in the interval 0 to 2 pi. So let's factor. We have 2 cos cube x equals to cos x. I can bring them together. So we have 2 cos cube x minus cos x equals to 0. Cos x is a common factor. So we get 2 cos square x minus 1 equals to 0. Now that gives you two possibilities. One is that cos x equals to 0. The other one is 2 cos square x minus 1 equals to 0. Now here we are working in the interval 0 to 2 pi. So let us sketch is whenever it comes to values like uh, 0 1 or minus 1 it's good to sketch right so this is the cosine cosine function so it is 0 for two values which are pi by 2 and 3 pi by 2 right so so these are two values of x from the first factor the other factor is bring it to one side so we have 2 cos square x equals to 1 cos x equals to half and when you square root you have to take both positive and negative right so that really means that you're looking for how many solutions 
both positive and negative values somewhere like this. Do you see that? So, so that gives you four different solutions, right? Four different solutions. And uh, well, in if you really want to find the real solutions, you could do it. One over square root two is basically uh, pi by four, right? So pi by four, two pi by four, three pi by four, 5 pi by 4 and 7 pi by 4 are your four solutions. So here you can see we have four solutions, right? These are the four solutions, correct? So 4 plus 2 makes it 6. So that gives you four solutions. So total solutions are 4 plus 2, which is 6, correct? So two solutions. When you add them up, you get six as the total number of solutions, right? So I hope you have learned how to also find the solution and how to find number of solutions. These days, we are focusing more on number of solutions since some students can just check the values and without even understanding, answer multiple choice questions. Here, when we are looking into number of solutions, it becomes a bit tricky. So take care and I hope you have understood the whole concept. All the best and feel free to share my videos and subscribe to them. Thanks for watching.